Until recently, we knew very little about the bugs that share our homes. Now, scientists have found more than 200,000 species of tiny animals, bacteria and fungi living in the air, in dust and even in tap water. When we step into the shower, we bathe in a sea of microbes. The evidence lies in the gunk inside your shower head. Working together, trillions of tiny organisms excrete a biofilm to protect themselves from the pressure. Despite their best efforts, some of them are released into the water that hits our bodies. Scientists are particularly interested in one of these, a type of mycobacteria which thrives in systems that use treated water. Its presence in showers was recently linked to lung infections in people with weak immune systems. But of the thousands of species in your home, fewer than a hundred can make us ill, and many could be beneficial. For example, your shower head may also house another mycobacterium that can boost a happy chemical called serotonin in our brains, making us feel less stressed. And how about a bug that turns what it touches to gold? Delftia, a microbe found in dust, gathers up tiny particles of dissolved gold to create solid nuggets. There's also the yeast discovered in dead wasps that's been used to make new beers, and camel crickets, whose gut bacteria can break down industrial waste. The dust and water in our homes are diverse jungles, and so far scientists have only looked for uses in a handful of species. Could a new microbe contain a novel antibiotic or help make biofuel? We have spent the last century trying to kill the bugs in our homes. Now scientists will spend the next century trying to find ways they can help us. <laughs>